How's it going everybody? Andrew here from ISC Suspension and today we're going to show you how to rebuild your thrust bearing kits. Spring bind is a common issue with aftermarket coilovers um, of any brand. What exactly it is in the front where the wheel might be being turned at a low speed turning rate or on an off camber surface sometimes people hear a pinging noise coming from the spring. So what ISC implemented was a thrust bearing insert which gives the spring perch assembly another point of rotation to ease the pillow ball upper mounts. So essentially the spring perch is right here where the spring connects and then this black insert here has a series of bearings inside of it which give a smooth quiet ride as well as smooth turning. What happens, like anything else, uh, grease, grease oil, they dry up over time. So we recommend every season or two to open up your thrust bearings, pack them with grease, and reassemble them. So we're going to show you how to do that right now with a few easy steps. First step, simply remove your Allen key adjuster. This Allen key adjuster is just to adjust your rebound adjustable dampening. Put that aside by hand you should be able to unscrew the top clicker adjuster put that aside and here you have your 19 millimeter nut so this nut is what keeps the shaft assembly connected with the pillow ball upper mount the camber plates everything up top on the coilover assembly so what we're going to do is we're going to take a 19 millimeter socket we're going to slide in a 5 millimeter allen key which is part of the shaft. Um, the purpose for this is to keep the shaft still while you loosen the top nut. If you simply just use a wrench or a socket and no Allen key, the shaft will spin in unison with the nut and you will not be able to take this assembly apart. Alright, now that our 19 millimeter nut is off, we will find a small washer right here. Put that aside. Don't lose that. Here's your whole camera plate assembly. They will look different from model to model. Um, whether it is a pillow ball upper mount without the camera plate, um, you know, the adjustable camera I should say, or just a plain top plate, either way it's going to look the same. Now your thrust bearing will simply slide out and here you have it as I showed it to you before. Now that the thr thrust bearing is off, simply lift the top black cup off of the spring perch with the insert in it and the bearings are free floating in there. These are obviously brand new but for reference we are going to clean them and regrease them. Get a clean rag. Wipe off any of the pre-existing grease from the bearing configuration. Making sure that you get all the sand and grit out of there as well. That could work their, their way in there over the years. As well as the inner area of the thrust assembly. Make sure there are no sharp abrasions in there as well. If there are, um, obviously you might want to reassess them or file them down, but in most cases this whole area should be intact. A traditional grease is fine. We use a wheel bearing related grease. Anything from a generic auto parts store is fine. Regrease the assembly as well as the inner spring perch area here. Again, too much grease, not an issue. It'll work its way out, so you don't have to worry about that. Here we are. Back in its assembly there. And then what you simply do from here, put the black cup back on. Work it in a little bit, just to make sure again that everything feels smooth like it should. 
once you're done with that, it is ready to reinstall. Okay, so to reassemble, you simply reverse the steps that we just took. Now that this is fully regreased and the thrust bearing itself feels smooth to the touch, it is time to put it back together. Camber plate and pillow ball assembly will just slide right on there. Don't forget the washer. your 19 millimeter nut. Bring it to hand tight. Now get your 19 millimeter socket back on there and your five millimeter Allen key to keep that shaft still so we can actually tighten that 19 millimeter nut back to the shaft. Make sure you do tighten this enough because if there's any play in there, you will experience a potential clunk. So if you uh, reassemble this and you, you hear that, most likely it's because you didn't tighten the 19 millimeter nut enough. So make sure that is tight. Clicker adjuster for the dampening reference points. Hand tight is fine. And then your actual Allen key adjuster with the hard and soft reference for the dampening adjusting again. We'll slide right in there. And here we are back to adjusting our dampening with a fully assembled kit ready to be reinstalled. So now you should all know how to maintain your thrust bearings. Again, we recommend doing this every season or two depending on where you are here on the East Coast with things like salt and harsh winters. Obviously, like anything else, metal parts that are exposed need a little more attention. Um, any questions, contact us at support at iscsuspension-na.com.